Welcome back to Alchemist Tarot, serving tarot straight up. So if you're new, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Subscribe so when you know so you know when new videos go up. Your return subby. Always appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. So this is your general weekly reading uh, for March 14th through the 20th, 21st. And I pulled a couple cards on TikTok, so I'll go over the 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 messages that I already put out, and then we'll pull some more cards around money, career, and your relationships. Again, this is general, so it will not be for all of you. Please understand that. And if it does resonate, it may not all unfold this week, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, so let's get going here. We have the Queen of Wands or the Nine of Cups. Excellent, really creative, explosive energy. But you also have the Eight of, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So the message that I, I shared on TikTok is saying that, you know, the Queen of Wands is a very energized, creative, explosive, confident energy, okay? And for a lot of you, whether it's, you know, um, you're launching a business or you're, you know, have some side hustles where you're gaining some more income or you're just putting yourself out there. Maybe you're putting more content on um, social media and you're starting to see traction. The thing is, the Nine of Cups is, is a wish card. Things are becoming fulfilled. You're seeing progress. You're seeing abundance and prosperity. Sorry for the noise in the background. That's my dog. Um, sh now she's dreaming. Um, and things are starting to really be <laughs> very, very positive. And um, and it's things all that you've you've worked so hard for and aligned for. And you're starting to see that come to fruition and manifest, right? The thing is, with this Eight of Pentacles, it's it's a little bit of, of a, not a warning, but kind of a something to keep in mind and remember. The talents and skill set and the work ethic that you have gotten to this point and the success that you're seeing, it's wonderful. But you're going to need to increase your talents and your education and knowledge and skill sets to get to that next level. Okay, because you can't rest on your laurels. What got you to this point is not necessarily going to get you to that next level. Okay, so you need to change your tactics. You need to increase your education and knowledge. For some of you, it might be at this point reaching out to a mentor or finding somebody who's much more experienced to help you grow and level up. Okay, because there's a lot of potential here still to be had. You just need to continue to have that student mindset to grow and evolve and learn and want all of those things, okay? Because, you know, even people who are quote unquote experts or advanced in their field and whatever it is, a lot of them, many of them still have a student mindset to say, I know a lot, but that doesn't mean I know everything, okay? Because if you ever approach a situation where you think you know it all, you don't. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, interesting. For some of you, you may have hit a level of happiness and fulfillment. You know, maybe you've hit a, a point where you've seen a good amount of money come in or, you know, you are finally with the person that you want to be with relationship-wise. And... Maybe you're getting a little bit bored. It's almost like that. What I'd be careful of is that fire starting to like dwindle. It's easy when you hit a goal. Okay. And well, it's not always easy to hit a goal. But when you do hit a goal that you've worked so hard for, it's almost like you check that box. And you're like, okay, well, what else? You know, especially if you, if you are like pushing yourself to learn more to kind of see what else is out there, to challenge yourself. And a lot of you, this is just making sure that you're challenging yourself to keep that excitement and, and curiosity and wonder and to push yourself out of your comfort zone, okay? So for some of you, I think it's, it's you know, the Four of Cups in reverse is telling me, continue to always push yourself out of your comfort zone. Don't let boredom or the mundane or things that are too familiar set you from higher sights, okay? Take a step back and ask, and for some of you, you, maybe you don't know what that next step is, that next level. Some of you need to kind of figure out and take a step back and figure out what that is. Maybe it's going in a completely different direction. Maybe it's creating a new path. Maybe it's creating a new business. Maybe it's selling a business. Maybe it's going back to school. What, whatever, it could be, and it's 
going to be different for all of you. And I, and I can't, this is general. I can't channel for every single person who potentially might see this video. Do not let yourself get too comfortable where you're not challenging and pushing yourself. There's no growth in the comfort zone. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some cards around money, career, and then relationships. That way I can, you don't have to hear her snore in the background. Okay. Be careful with money this week. Um, don't, okay, so I we have some trickster energy here, unfortunately. We have the seven of, of swords, which is always a challenging energy to have. And you have the five of wands in reverse. For some of you, there could be somebody around you who will just beat you down in conversation or make you feel bad and you'll just give them the money. Be careful doing that. Or a smooth talker, somebody that can come in and just knows how to sell, you know, to anything to anyone to get their way. It may not be beneficial for you. Be careful. The, the don't get looped into the get quick rich schemes or the smooth talking salesperson, be careful, okay? Because I feel like if somebody's around you or trying to come in, and it doesn't, it can be a friend or family member too, by the way, um, even a lover, whatever the case is, they will just continually just energetically just knock you down, beat you down almost, where it's like you don't even want to argue or fight or push back. You're like, fine, here, shut up, go away. Be careful because this person is, this is not just a one-time thing. They're going to continue to figure out how to do this and drain you of funds that they don't have themselves or, or they're not willing to work hard for. They're not willing to work for themselves. They're looking for the easy way out and their sights are on you. So just be careful. And I'm, again, I don't want to scare anybody. Just be cautious, okay? Career, let's see what's going on. Okay, well, that one flipped over, so we'll take an, another five. Interesting. A lot of changes this week. A lot of a lot of contemplation. A lot of potentially changing tactics and approach, okay? You know, career, for some of you that you are, you know, you obviously work for someone, I would say be very careful of picking a fight or being pulled in or dragged into drama, even if it's something that just grinds your gears this week. I would say this is not the energy to start to pick a fight or to get into it with somebody. If you if you need if you genuinely need to stand up for yourself because somebody is putting you in a, the defense mode and putting you on your heels, that's different. But also watch what you say because a lot of eyes are on you this week. Okay, so people are going to be watching how you react, not necessarily what you say, how you react. Okay, I. And I think the energy is tense. I don't think it's necessarily like a personal vendetta, you know, for the most part. But what I'm going to tell you with the justice in reverse, the scales are not going to go in your favor. People are going to watch what you do, not always necessarily what you say. And the person that's maybe agitating the, the situation or bringing more chaos or frustration into the work environment, and maybe you're just trying to like right or wrong or stand up for someone, people are gonna look at you as the aggressor, even though you're defending, okay? Even if you're in the right, for whatever reason, it could just be an empty victory because you're looked at as somebody that's causing issue, not trying to create the peace. Be careful what you say. If you can walk away and bite your tongue, it might be a little bit better this week to do so. And if you do have to say something or write something, be cautious on your tone. Watch what you say. Make sure there's no opportunity for somebody to come back at you later. Okay. Relationships. Let's see. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well. Got some rever reversal energy here. Not necessarily negative, but I think for some of you, you are... Taking the time out to heal and to kind of focus on yourself, not necessarily putting energy on another person or in a relationship. Maybe you've had to take a step back and reevaluate what you want. 
Um, if you are in a relationship, maybe there's been some, you know, crucial conversations, as they would say in the in the corporate workplace, um, or necessary conversations with your partner to say, look, things are not okay. Let's stop pretending that they are. For my singles, I feel like this is not the time just to out of boredom to be reckless and start, you know, I think I've healed. I've done some work. I've really focused on certain things in my life. Now I'm bored. I want to get reckless. I would say I would go against that initial re initial desire to just go out and wreck somebody else's life because you haven't really f fully fixed your own shit. Always work inside out, right? Work on self first, then start focusing on what, you know, how you enter into someone else's life. Don't date with a vengeance. This is not the week to start doing that. Okay? You'll regret it. In a relationship, I would say this is not the time to assume. Like I said, you need to have some hard conversations. If there's been things swept under the rug, if you're unhappy, you're unhappy. You need to talk about it. Okay? This is not the time to pretend to move forward and everything's okay when it's not. I'm pulling one more card. Yeah. This is not the week. <laughs> Two cups in reverse. Have the conversations necessary to open up channels of communication. Fix it. Don't let it fester. If you're single, not the week. Not the week. Okay? This is not this is not the week to start something new out of the gate. There's too much chaotic energy it feels like. I hope this reading has been somewhat insightful and helpful. Please leave a comment if it resonates with you um, or it's something that you've been going through. Um, I wish everyone a wonderful rest of the week. If you don't follow me on TikTok, please do so and on Instagram. And we'll talk very soon.